no one really wants to look green. Hi, my little lovelies. I talk like Bella. Talk to Bella like that. I should really not talk to you like that because you aren't birds. <laughs> Welcome back, my beautiful, lavish, gorgeous queen. Sitting wherever you're sitting, looking all beautiful. Today's video is all about blush and a secret I want to share with you. I posted something like this recently on my TikTok and I got a lot of questions. So I only have blush, I have, no my eyes, but on my face I have blush, powder and concealer. That's all I have. And I only have a little bit of blush, but I want to show you a trick that I do to make my blush and or bronzer look even more chiseled. So I'm gonna take a bit of my bronzer just to start off, okay? And I'm just gonna bronze my face only a little bit, just not a lot. So just a little bit here, okay? Nothing crazy. By the way, how amazing is this freaking highlighter? Like, <gasps> anyways, before I get distracted. so. Here's something that I learned years ago when I was learning makeup and it was probably one of the main things that stuck with me and ever since I learned it, I was like experimenting more than I ever have in my life with makeup and that's why I truly believe all makeup is versatile. If you have lipstick, use that as your blush, use that as your bronzer, use that as your eyeshadow, use it as eyeliner. You like, There is no rules. There is no rules. The only rule I would say is don't use a super glue for your eyelash glue. Only reason I say that is because someone has done that before and I had a heart attack. So please don't ever do that. But other than that, proceed. Proceed with whatever you want, darling. So, these are my two favorite shadows to use on clients. And it's orange, yellow. I wouldn't say green because no one really wants to look green. So I'm gonna show you on one side orange and I'm gonna show you on one side yellow. Now here's the thing. You don't want to ever overdo this step. And in saying that, the reason I like to use a yellow eyeshadow, sorry, blush, is because most of us have a yellow undertone. Look, if you don't, if you're going for more of a bronzy look, but you want something that looks incredible in photos and also gives you this weird, radiant, beautiful shine that just comes through and you're not really sure that color, this is what I would use. So I usually use a yellow on I would say 95% of my clients, especially for my brides and on photo shoots because it just gives this little tinge. Now, I have spoken to a client before and she actually said one of her makeup artists actually used yellow all on her cheeks. She didn't put any color on top and it looked horrible. I would not do that. The key to this is to blend it in with what you already have on your skin. So I have a little bit of brush, brush, a little bit of blush, a little bit of bronzer. I'm taking the same brush there are different shades of yellow that I like to use. I tend to go more of a bright yellow. I just think it looks so much nicer on the skin. So there's this little yellow I'm gonna show you. I just wanna show you that you can use literally any yellow shade. Okay, and I'm taking my brush. Now, because I don't want all the other colors, I'm literally gonna squish it, and I'm just gonna take a bit of that in there, okay? Now, I wanna show you how much I'm actually using. So I don't know if you can see that. Don't look at me in camera. I hope you can see that. Okay, so there's really only a little bit on the tip. Now what I do is I get it and I really just start dabbing that everywhere that I just put my, I was gonna say brush, wait, my blush and my bronzer. Mm. Oof, oof. Like, I really hope you can see it because in real life this looks incredible. It literally just gives you, you know how many people have, you know how many of my clients have said to me, what the hell did you put on my face? Because everyone keeps asking what brush or bronzer you used. And I was like, oh. And sometimes when my clients see me going, they're like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, do you trust me? They're like, yeah. I'm like, well, just sit back and close your eyes. Just, just, just trust, trust the process. Now, let me show you a bit of the orange on this side. So I'm taking the same brush. Now the orange is way more pigmented than the yellow, okay? So you want to be careful with this. I just dabbed it on the back of my hand and I'm holding it very loosely and in light circular motions. 
I'm just gonna <sighs> I knew I put too much come and get your girl <laughs> do you see what TikTok has done to me oh wait Okay, come, 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 come over here. Don't be scared. I'm not gonna bite. Jokes, <laughs> I do bite. Anyways, <laughs> look at this side. Do you see how it gives you this sexy little yellow? It gives you a sexy little yellow. Oh, and then look at this side. If you think about it, a lot of bronzers have actual orange inside of them. So, when you're applying a bronzer, all you're doing is adding a bit of orange. When you're applying a bit of yellow, all you're doing is really accentuating your natural beautiful features because the goal of makeup in my eyes is to enhance your beauty. When you take off all your makeup, look at your skin, look at all the undertones in it. And if you don't know your undertone, I'll leave my link up here, but also just check what looks nice on you, gold or silver. And if you look nice in both, and if they complement your skin well, then you are a neutral undertone, which means you can really do whatever the hell you want because everything pretty much suits you so congratulations but everything suits everyone it just depends on how you do it I really wanted to share this blush tip because it has changed so many of my clients lives my life and I hope it changes your life you can also apply a little bit on the tip of your nose that's usually what I do and a little bit on the forehead and on the chin make sure it's a little bit the video I did on my TikTok obviously was only yellow and it really just want like it accentuated the features of the yellow because I just wanted to my just wanted my point to come across I didn't actually mean only put yellow because you do you you will look a little bit ill and it's not really that cool <laughs> not really the goal over here but I really hope this video has helped you let me know what side you like more this side yellow side or the orange side which side would you wear and please let me know if you try it there is no harm in trying it if you don't like it you can literally never use it again and take it off but if you do like it then you are welcome and I am here to serve you with more secret tips tricks all the fun jazz and if you want to know more of my secret little tips I have a free cheat sheet that I will leave down below for you to download it literally is my guide to everyday quick makeup this is for all skin types and all skin ages so please don't be discouraged if you think that this is only for younger women or mature women this is for all beautiful queens for all of you and it literally is gonna help you to just kind of understand your face, understand what you need every single day or what you need for makeup every day and how you can look beautiful every single day with the most minimal product and it'll last all day. And hello. Who doesn't want that? Can I get an eye? Silence soda. <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> Thank you, my beautiful queen, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, slay and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video, my beautiful queens. P.S. I hope you like my hair. I, I love it so much and I just had to say that again. Anyways, <laughs> bye queens.